Deke. Welcome to Deke Pod, my series of once every other weekly videos. This is my chance to tell you what I really think about computer graphics and digital imaging without anyone looking over my shoulder telling me to tone it down. I hate it when people tell me to tone it down. Jerks. Today's episode is Metadata Forensics, What a Crock, in which I show you why metadata, which some people regard as hard, fast, indisputable, airtight electronic evidence, Photoshop defends it like it's the word of God, is so totally subject to fraud that my seven-year-old can mess with it. I mean, my grandmother, my grandmother's dead. My grandmother could alter it. And the way that Photoshop and the others defend it, it's just stupid. Metadata, what it is. Here's the deal. Virtually every electronic file you capture today contains extra source information called metadata. For example, when you snap a picture with a digital camera, you capture a bunch of pixels. You know that. For God's sake, tell me you know that. But your camera, totally behind your back by the way, records a few other settings using a special variety of metadata called EXIF. EXIF tracks the aperture, focal length, whether the flash fired. It also records the exact time and date that you shot the photo. Which is great, right? You know when you went parasailing with your girlfriend, or when your kid lost her first tooth, or when grandma lost her last tooth. But you don't always want people to know when you shot a photo. Could be sort of incriminating. Under the right circumstances, that date stamp could come back to haunt you. Or petty crimes. Like, let's say one afternoon, your idea of a high time is to grab your buddies and knock over a bunch of trash cans, shave your neighbor's cat, toilet paper your mother-in-law's house, and switch around the letters on a school sign to craft some clever free verse poetry. You have a brilliant time. In fact, your only mistake is that you decide to document your tour de force with a few photos for your, I don't know, your Facebook page. But then somehow you get caught. Might be because you posted all your photos on Facebook, dumbass. But whatever, word gets out you shot a bunch of photos. You're asked to hand over your computer. Photos, date stamps, that metadata, it'll get you. The trial. But the whole time you're just smiling, because secretly, you got the man beat. When the authorities come over to collect your computer, you're like, here you go, have fun, go nuts, it's all yours. They rummage through it, find the photos from the afternoon in question, pop them open, and there you all are. You, Carmine, Lemming, and Otter, whose mom would shit if she knew he was out with you. All in your Sunday best, looking like the clean-cut, bright-eyed, community-minded citizens that you are. Hell yeah. See, these images of you decked out like young Republicans are now time and date stamped at the exact moments of your prolific spree of misdemeanors. The very files that were once your dread enemies are now your best friends. They are your alibis, baby. You are free to go. The Ruse. How'd you do it? How'd you merge the metadata from one set of files with the pixel content of another? Well, you could have used a dedicated metadata editor. I use this one called Reveal from a fellow named Will Stokes. But you don't want evidence of a dedicated metadata editor on your machine. That'd be too obvious. So of course, you got Photoshop, right? Problem is, Photoshop and other pro-level apps regard EXIF as sacrosanct. They don't let you edit EXIF, but they can be fooled. Let's say you open the photo of your clever poem, and then you open the one of you. Select all, copy, go back to the poem, paste, flatten, save. Photoshop doesn't let you edit EXIF data, but it does let you edit the image inside that EXIF data. Ergo, the inviolability of metadata is a fraud. Conclusion. Recap. The programs that let you edit EXIF leave no trace. The programs that protect it, like Photoshop, don't protect it well. And most cameras aren't even set to the right date in the first place. Honestly, we're getting evidence as concerned those old style date stamps that are applied by disposable film cameras are liable to be more accurate. So anyway, now you know how to manipulate the system and make Photoshop work for you, not against you. And all it takes is copy and paste. I mean, how lame is that? You don't have to be a hacker. Just copy and paste and this never happened. Well, that was fun. I mean, metadata, I thought it was fun. If you're looking for real training, I like the crap I just showed you, good stuff. Check out my full line of one-on-one -on -one books at deke.oreilly.com. Or if reading isn't your thing, peruse my videos at lynda.com slash deke or go to my personal site, deke.com. And stay tuned for more videos. I have lots more creative nuggets to feed your eager brains here at DeekPod.